Hey guys, just going to show you a quick video. Um, well, I always say a quick video, it doesn't often turn into a quick video, but you get the idea. Um, there's people that are spending a lot of money on IP cameras, um, £100 plus. I know you can get some cheap ones off eBay, but you never know the quality is going to be like, probably pretty poor video quality. Um, I was looking at setting one up just out of fun, just to see what my dog, Ruiz, yeah, uh, does throughout the day whilst uh, we're out and about at work and whatnot, um, so that I can be out uh, and check on my phone, um, connect to a, a camera and see what he's doing. Most of the time he'll probably be asleep, but yeah, so looking into these things, I know some other people have done this. I've made the idea of this video from people on the Beagle UK Facebook site um, and people that are spending quite a lot of money. Like I say, I think if you spend a lot of money, you'll probably get a really good decent high quality camera um, but not everyone's got a lot of money and there's probably always an easy way around it so a bit of uh, googling of course Google's your friend um, I've come up with a or oh, I found some apps which are great now I've got a Samsung Galaxy tab tablet which runs Android and I've also got my personal phone which is a Sony Xperia Z1 which again runs on Android I can't really give you any ideas of how Apple might work because I've got no Apple products apart from an iPod. Um, so I'm sure if you YouTube search and also Google search, I bet there's pretty similar things available on the Apple um, App Store, I think it's called. So um, the two things that you'll need, um, you'll need two programs. There may be one program that can do it all together, but I've just done it quickly and come across two programs that you need. Um, if I put them onto a separate page on my tablet which will make things easier for me to explain them to you um, they're both free um, one of them the one you use to view the um, camera feed uh, I've actually paid for the extra paid version which removes the adverts and actually gives us some pretty good features which are very useful uh, and that was 249 I mean £2.49 compared to the price of some of these uh, these kits not bad so the two apps you'll need if you can see them uh it's possibly backwards on the uh the feed on the camera you're watching um is ip webcam and ip cam viewer now the one that you need on your tablet in my case because the tablet's going to be the one that's going to sit as my camera is the ip webcam now if you go onto it I've already got it set up. You've got all of the different settings and things to set as resolution, photo resolution, etc., etc. Um, but you can set it to have security, so you have to actually log into the camera as opposed to just type in the IP address and you'll find it. So I've basically given it a, a login and a password, which is the name of my dog. Simple. Um, once you're in that, you just set all these this page up this is the first page you will see um, and I won't tap on it because you'll see what my password and username is uh, login password you tap on that you decide what your username is you can be anything from one to any word you want uh, and same with the password now once that's all set up um, so right down to the bottom you can choose to have audio on as well which I'm not gonna bother because don't expect him to be barking I don't think he does I think he sleeps all day but I'll find out um, one thing I have got checked is this one prevent going to sleep because that is if your um, tablet screen goes off I think I'm not sure <coughs> excuse me um, that it may stop the feed which obviously once you're out at work oh great you know there's a day lost um, so I've made sure that that stays on the prevent going to sleep you can also set it to come on as soon as your tablet comes on so you can have it as a dedicated camera if you want it's up to you uh, there is a frequently asked questions section so if you do have any issues and that's got anything you need and once you've done that just tap on start server and it then starts which because I've got the camera covered there we go so that's the camera there's my dog wondering what I'm up to um, once that's there, there is actually in this very top corner, how do I connect, which does give you more help, but I'm going to show you how to do it on here. So the camera's running, I'll leave that just here facing the dog. Use the bed next to him, so that I'll put it there. So 
and have it facing my end of the car, which car could go. And once we see that that's on my phone screen, job's done. So, moving on to the phone. Like I say, on the phone, all you need is IP cam viewer. Once you go on to that, uh, I'll go from the very start. You can actually have uh, multiple cameras on it. So you could actually have, you know, a couple of tablets or whatever set up um, around the house. Could even have a security system, you know, for intruders and whatnot. Hopefully not, but you know, it could be useful. Just want to get back to the settings. Right. So when you first log on to your camera, I'm actually going to delete this one so I can show you from the very beginning. When you first log on, you'll get a pretty standard screen with no cameras because obviously you've got no camera set up for it. Uh, you add a camera with the big plus at the bottom and then you've got what sort of camera it is. Now in this case, it is a um, IP camera. So you see IP camera, DVR, MVR. So tap on IP camera and you get again lots of um, settings so you can give the camera a name so i shall call this camera dog watch again if you've got different cameras set up you know like a security system at home you may have living room kitchen front porch garden you know stuff like that so dog watch um what system it's on now because it's on my tablet which runs android i've got it set as an android there is all different brand names on there. You know, you see their Canon, stuff like that. But because it's running on an Android um, tablet, I'm having it as Android. The model, the one you want to select is IP webcam for Android. I'm not sure what the other two are. There may be some other apps that are available. But we want um, IP cam for IP webcam for Android. Next up is the host and IP settings. Um, now to get that. We need to go back onto your camera which you've now got set up and this is quite helpful i hope you pick it up at the very bottom if i make it dark just there it shows you what your your ip address is that you need to connect to and also what your uh, port is so the ip address is the bit after http semicolon forward slash forward slash which you don't need to add uh, and then the IP address is the bit at the end, the four numbers at the end, which as default is 8080. So, looking at that screen and going on to here, I will then go to the part that says host and IP, just there. I type in that number. So, that so that's done and then like I say the HTTP port the standard is 8080 I'm sorry it's all backward on the screen I'm using my uh, missus's Kindle Fire which I don't really know how they work um, so that's that's that once that's done if you did set up a username and password on the setup of your tablet or the host camera you then need to add that here which obviously you can't see the password because it's stars so the username is Ruiz, a dog's name, don't ask. Password, I've set my own password. Once you've done that, you can then either save it or click on test. Now if you click on test, what that does, if I click test, that then fetches a picture from your camera so you know it's working. So that has taken a picture of what my camera is currently seeing. So you now know, yes, this is working. If you click save, it then appears as one of your cameras so if you had more they'd all be listed here now if you want to watch it you just tap it sorry hold it enable this camera only you can actually email the link to other people so I'll probably send it to my partner so you can do the same enable this camera only is it doing something wrong here give me a sec Right, sorry, let's go back so I can show you what I did. It isn't, you don't have to long press it. What you do have to do, let's go back to that menu. Once that's done, there's the top corner, you've got the arrow to go back. Tap on that, and that is now a live feed of my camera. So if I wave my hand in front of it, where is it? There it is, there we go. 
so that is now recording from my camera so I can pick my camera up you know look outside what not go find the dog Ruiz Ru come here probably won't Ruiz come here here he comes one beagle so the quality obviously will depend on your data connection great if you're on Wi-Fi you've got Wi-Fi at work um, stuff like that um, but it is very useful so I've got one of these stands that um, you can you know set it up so it sits like that so it's probably sat like that uh, where he sleeps um, but yeah just to show you a quick demo you know the extras if you want to spend the extra money on the paid version of the app um, you can from within this app click up here PTZ preset tap on that and you actually get control so if it's dark you can turn the light on which you can see that's lit up behind it so there's my keyboard I can actually turn the light off remotely from the phone so yeah if it's dark it might wake him up but equally you might think what's he up to tap the light all oh, right okay fine he's asleep uh, you can also um, focus it perhaps if it lose focus tap that and it'll refocus you can see on the screen just it's, it's the sensor's going back and forth to refocus itself upon me um, there's full screen as well just here if um, the camera had the ability so I don't know if you can get I mean, if you had a proper actual camera you can use all these buttons oh, you disappeared here let's get it back to um, move around zoom in zoom out etc uh, save things um, and so on uh, also another feature of the um, paid version is you can take a photo and capture it it's perhaps doing something stupid perhaps he's sleeping with all his legs in the air whatever uh, you can take pe uh, pictures of it tap that um, and you can also record so when you tap that you can save a picture or you can down here like enter record mode tap that just gives you the uh, what of it and it's now recording what's going on on the screen um, obviously that'll use quite a bit of your, uh, your um, memory up so yeah um, any questions obviously feel free to comment uh, in the bottom I'll get back to you pretty soon soonish because I'm quite active on YouTube um, but other than that yeah give it a go let me know how it goes cheers